Hey there, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to import the Daily Page Digital Planner when you purchase it off Shopify and want to import it into a digital app like GoodNotes. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and go to my shop, add it to cart, complete your purchase. As soon as your purchase is finished, you're going to go ahead and go to your inbox. And right away, you'll have two emails. The first one is going to be your purchase confirmation, and then the second one will be your download files. Go ahead and open the one for the downloads and you'll see a link in there to the download page. As soon as the download page opens, you can go ahead and hit the download now folder. And down at the bottom of your screen, you should then get a little pop up where you again have to hit download. Now it'll begin downloading the file. It goes pretty quick because it's a compressed file, which I will explain in a minute. Next down here at the bottom, you're going to see blue text that says open in and you'll go ahead and click on open in and you'll select save to files. This is going to now ask you where you want to save it and you're going to go ahead and choose on my iPad and hit save. It has now downloaded a compressed file onto your iPad. So the next step is to locate it and uncompress it. So to do that, you need to open up your file explorer. It's an app that looks like this, has a blue file folder on it, so it might be really accessible on your home screen or down here in the menu tray. If you don't see it anywhere, an easy way to find it is to put your finger towards the top of the screen, swipe down, and then in this search bar, you're just gonna type in files and it'll find the app for you. Once you open up those files, you should see a zipped folder, so it'll end with .zip in there, titled with the month and year of your purchase. So go ahead and long click on that and select uncompress. You'll then see it uncompress it so it now has this blue file folder, which means that all of the files within that folder are now accessible and ready to use. So go ahead and click on it to open up that folder. Now one trick I want to show you is that instead of looking like this, your folders might look like this. So you might have icons here instead of the listed view. I switch it to list view so that I can see the full file names, which is helpful for this step of the process. So when you make the purchase, you're actually going to get four different planners and all you have to do is determine which one you want to use and import that one file. So you don't need to import all four of these. You'll see that you get two that are for all of 2022, either with Monday or Sunday start calendars. And then you'll get an option that'll be from 12 months out from your date of purchase. So because it's October, 2021, these files go from October 2021 to September of 2022. So what I want is all of 2022 and I use Sunday start calendar. So I'm actually going to click on this version and it's going to open it up in this viewer, but you want to open it up in an app and I'm going to open it in GoodNotes. So you're going to click this blue icon in the top right corner that kind of looks like a box with an arrow. And then you'll swipe over until you find the app you want to use. Maybe it's Notability, maybe it's GoodNotes. I'll go ahead and choose GoodNotes. It will now ask you where you want to import it. You want to make sure it says import as new document. If not, you need to go and change the location because otherwise it'll tack this file onto whatever file you have open. So go ahead and import as new document. And this might take a little while, um, depending on your internet connection, it's just importing the file into the app for you. And as soon as that's done, it'll open up for you.